Hello and welcome to WP Empire Builder 3.0. This product allows you to create multiple WordPress sites simultaneously preloaded with all your plugins and settings. With WP Empire Builder 3.0, you can use an ethical WordPress hack to dominate your niche. This allows you to create 10 WordPress sites in 29 seconds. This is the world's fastest way to deploy WordPress sites. As the great Bruno Mars would say, don't believe me, just watch. Welcome to this demo presentation of WP Empire Builder version 3.0. This is the fastest way to launch unlimited WordPress sites and manage them all from one place. We are in the admin area of a WordPress site that I set up a few minutes ago. We will turn this site into a command center that will launch and manage all the child sites that we add later to our network. All those child sites will be able to share the plugins and themes that you include in this main site. And once you update a plugin or theme in the main site, all your child sites will get updated automatically. You don't even have to log in to the child sites. Let's go ahead and install the WP Empire Builder plugin on our main site. Go to Plugins, Add New, Upload Plugin, Browse, Select Empire Builder, Open, Install Now. Plugin installed successfully, Activate Plugin, and now you will see this Empire Builder tab right here on the left. We click it. And you will see this screen. So now we want to click this blue button that says upgrade your site to Empire version. Click it. Congratulations, you successfully upgraded your site to Empire version. Click here to start managing your new WordPress Empire. Let's click on it. This is the main screen of the plugin. A few things. First of all, all the links you will ever need to navigate your new Empire are up here. Add new site, manage existing sites, manage themes, manage plugins, import content. All of these links can also be found here on the left hand side menu. That way, no matter what you want to do, you are just one click away. If you want the plugin to create subdirectories, subdomains or new domains automatically, then you can enter your cPanel credentials in these text fields right here. Let me do that. and the password and let's click submit for now setting saved you only have to enter your cpanel credentials once if at some point you want to change them you can you just click this link here that says change cpanel credentials okay let's try some of the functions add new site this mother site the domain of this mother site is instantwpbusiness.com, so you can see it here. We get to choose if we want to add our new site as a new subdirectory, as a new domain, or as a new subdomain. Of course, if you want to add a new domain, you need to register that domain. Okay, for now, let's add it as a new subdirectory. Let's say, for example, George Site 1. Site title. George site one description. Now, if you want to create a totally blank site, you can click this create site button and you will be done. If, however, you have an existing WordPress site somewhere, it doesn't matter. It can be on, on a different server, wherever it is. You can import content from that existing site. You can just click this import content from existing site. You enter the URL of that site, for example, some blog domain blog or whatever, the admin username and the admin password, and WP Empire Builder will go to that site and it will fetch the content and import it to this new child site that you are adding to your network. For now, let's just create a new blank site. I click Create Site. Processing. Done. Right now, we created a new WordPress site without installing WordPress again. 
it says site George site one has been created, you may now visit the site's dashboard. For now, let's add another site. For example, George site two. Description two, create site. Done, another site has been created. Let's go to Empire Builder, manage existing sites. You can see all the existing sites here. This here is the main site, the main mother site. And this is the first site we added and the second site we added. We can change its name and description. We can deactivate a site. We can delete a site if we want. Let's visit the dashboard of this site. This is our new site. If you take a look here on the left, you will see it already has all the plugins that the initial mother site had. It also has all the themes. We did not have to install WordPress. We did not have to upload plugins. We did not have to upload themes. Everything is already set up. Here, let me visit it. This is a live site and it took, what, less than 30 seconds to add. Let's go to Manage Themes. These are the themes that are available on the mother site and on all the child sites as well. If you really like a theme, let's say we like this 2014 theme, you can check this option here and next time you add a child site to your network, this theme will be the active theme on that child by default. Here's how you do that. You click here. Done. You don't even have to save anything. There are no save buttons. It has been done. Let's go to manage our plugins. There are several plugins here. Let's say I want to add a new plugin. We click add new. Upload plugin. Browse. I will select this one. I'm a search bar. Open. Install now. Now, after the plugin is installed, you'll see this link that says select sites to activate on. Because now we don't have just one site. We have a network of many sites. Let's click this link. You'll see a few options here. First of all, you see this option that says make this plugin active by default on new sites from now on. This means that if you check this option, next time you go to add a child site to your network, this plugin will be active by default on that site. For now, let's activate this plugin on all our websites. We check this. We click update and see the progress bar up here. Done. This plugin has been activated on all the sites in our network. It doesn't matter if you have two sites, five sites, 10 sites, 50 sites, 100 sites. It's the same process every single time. You upload the plugin once and you are done with it. Themes work in exactly the same manner. You can upload the theme and activate it on all your child sites or on the child sites you select because you can select or unselect here. Let's try another option. Uh, let's say import content. Let's say that you want to add content to this child site here. Again, you can enter the URL of an existing WordPress site you have. You enter the admin credentials, so WP Empire Builder can log in to that site and fetch the content. And it will fetch everything. Posts, pages, text, images, everything. Also, if you have added some content to this site, but you want to replace it with the new content from the other site, you can just click this remove existing content option. And then all the content that you import from the other remote site will replace the existing content here. Or it will just delete the default content that WordPress adds, like hello world post, sample page, you know, that initial placeholder content that you don't really need. And basically this is it. A process that could take you hours or even days has been now compressed down to a few minutes or even seconds. By the way, whenever you update your WordPress version or when you update a plugin or a theme, you can apply all those updates to all the sites on your network with a few clicks. So you'll never have to worry about your WordPress sites being outdated. Hackers are looking for outdated plugins or themes so they can sneak in to a WordPress site and wreak havoc. With WP Empire Builder, you'll never have that problem again.
when you upgrade your WordPress site to Empire version, you will get automatically promoted from admin to super admin. This means that you will be able to manage all your sites and this Empire Builder tab here will be visible in all the child sites that you visit, but only for you. If you add another user, let's say you have a client or whatever, they will not be able to see this Empire Builder tab. Only one person can have access to this panel and that's the super admin, which is you. By the way, if you set up sites for clients, for example, you can select if you want them to be able to modify the plugins or themes. If you check these options, they will be able to do so. If you uncheck these options, then they will not be able to do so. The point being, you are in control and you hold the keys. Now, we have this post here. This post can be on your main site or on any of your child sites. It doesn't matter. Below the post, you'll see this WP Empire Builder widget that says clone to other sites. Essentially, you can select any of the other sites you want and then you can click update and clone to other sites. And then this piece of content, it doesn't matter if it's a post, a page, it can be an article, a review, a contact us page, whatever it is. The content will get cloned and added to all the other sites that you select. So this is a great time saver as well.